Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I almost have 100 subscribers. That is my goal right there. So once I reach 100, I'm, 100, I'm going But that probably won't happen until another couple weeks for me to do the giveaway. If I do reach 100, um, ah, so excited. Okay, but anyways, I wanted to show you guys how I did my channel art. I did change it. Um, I did like the one before, but... I just wanted to change it a bit, you know, and actually put, like, some makeup looks that I did on my channel art. So, once you go on my channel, you can see it and stuff like that. It's very simple. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into it. Alright, so this is the website that I use. It is Pig Monkey, right here. And, basically, you have to go to your... Oops, sorry. Mmm, watching my Korean stuff, you know. But, just go on to your YouTube... And then, let's see. And then you're gonna have to go to your channel. And up here on the edit thing, click on it, go to edit channel art. And then go to how to create channel art down here. And it will give you like how to do it, whatever. But go to channel art template right here. And it's going to download the template for you. So what you're going to do is go to Pig Monkey, go to Edit, and then select the um, Channel Art Template thing. So this is how it looks like. And then on the side here, you're going to go to the W, I mean the W, the Butterfly. And then go to Geometric and click on the Rectangle. And you're going to put the rectangle right here. Just going to line it up real good. Make sure it lines up right here. And to whatever, and line up up here too. And then you're going to do the same thing down here. And then you're going to do that on this side as well. So you just take that and bring it over here. And then one more. I'm just going to do it sloppy. But you guys get the idea. And then take another one. And then you're going to put it down here. Line it up as well. Drag it all the way over and line it up over there. Make sure it is all lined up. And then you right click and click on duplicate overlay. So you won't have to do it again. And you can just copy and paste it up here. Just like that. So this is how it should look like. And then what I did was, I went to Google, and I searched up, like, whatever kind of, um, background that I wanted. So, I just searched up glitter background. And, so you just choose whichever you want. Um, I already have one selected, so I'll just use the one I have. So, you just click up here that says your own. And, let's see... I'm just going to and then what you want to do is just drag the picture so it will fit either fit the whole like the whole thing or just fit where um, this box is right here so I'm just gonna do that and then you're gonna right click and send to back so that's how it should look like. Just kind of fit it however you want. Like if you want to show like that or like that or whatever. It's up to you. So that's how I did it. And then I... And then for me, I did... Um, for my pictures, I made it into like a Polaroid frame kind of thing. So let me just show you if you haven't seen it. Um... So yeah, as you can see, it's like a Polaroid kind of thing, whatever. So for that, I opened up another tab and I clicked on, or I edit one of my pictures. So let's see, let's go edit one of my pictures. Let's do this one. Okay, so here's the picture, right? So we're going to go over here to the frame. So it's under the butterfly and it says frames. And then I, I did the Polaroid frame one. So just click on that. And then it will give you an effect and it will make it into a um, 
Polaroid. So you could kind of, let's see. So you can change how much effect you want on the picture and how much you don't want. And then you could change the Polaroid film background kind of thing. So I kind of like how it looks like this with this kind of Polaroid. So I'm going to click on apply. And then I'm just going to save it. I'm going to save it on my computer. Oops, let's make a new folder. Okay, and I'm going to click on the your own again. And select the picture. And I'm just going to position it wherever I want it. Um, so yeah, I just did the, I just kept doing that with all my other pictures and just lined them up like that. Um, and then, I don't really like how square it looks, so I just went over here to the little editing thing. So click on the picture and it'll pop up. I just went to the eraser and kind of erase like the edges and stuff because I don't really like it. Like kind of make it look messy or whatever. Just do whatever you want. Um. Not like that, okay? Don't do that. Oh my god, that's so horrible. Okay. But just do whatever you want. That's basically what I did. And then I went to, um... Okay, so once you have all your pictures, um... I'm just gonna do one for now, just to show you guys. Just go to the first one up here. And just crop. We're going to crop out the sides. So, um... Let's see. We're gonna stop right here. And stop right here. And we're just gonna apply that crop right there. And then that's how it looks like. And then just go to save. And for the dimensions over here on the side, change it to how much it, it needs to be for your thing. So let's see, the dimension for channel art is. It is, let's see. 2560 by 1440 so we're going to do that so it says 2560 by 1593 but that's okay it should be able to work so we're gonna go here edit channel art select and then it should let you um, kind of adjust it to see how it looks on the display so that's how it's really like on the desktop TV and the mobile phone and then you can adjust the crop however you want. Let me show you. So this is how it looks like when you look at it on the desktop. So this is the one that I have on my beauty channel right now. And that's how it looks like. And then we're just going to adjust it up a little bit. Okay, but you get the idea, right? So that's how it should look like. And that's basically all I did. Um, you can play around with a uh, photo, I mean, pick monkey as much as you want. But that's all, you guys. Alright, that's all. So hopefully it was helpful to you guys. And um, basically I just searched up how to do YouTube channel art with PicMonkey. And that's how I found out how to do it. So if my video wasn't helpful, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.